Yeah, we'll tell you about uh, intraoperative closing. The OCT is the most popular examination uh, in of that method in ophthalmology nowadays. It's a non invasive <coughs> probability. It's performed pre and postoperatively, and uh, it is <coughs> logical to make this integration of OCTs in our surgery. The benefits is uh, to improve surgical treatments, the outcomes and results, to have real time OCT images over a new view of, of certain works. And uh, no contact devices helps us with the steroid surgical fields. The difficult come from patient, patient position and no cooperation, and also uh, as always for a learning curve. But it, it seems like OCT for an ophthalmologist is like a dog for a man. So uh, we're happy with them. The surgical applications will be in a very same glaucoma and retina. In the entire segment, we, can, uh, we know the important use and the very useful of OCTs for intracornea rings, but we can also use it for lamellar keratoplasties, for easel incisions, cataract surgery incision, the cholesterol removal, and so on. Retina is perhaps the most you know, uh, useful for OCT. But is it really useful? So. Uh, sometimes we can see that OCT, surgical OCT, is useful to obtain a uh, prize in a congress, uh, to be winner of an hour. Because in the last congress, uh, we are seeing that all the hours goes to the OCT surgery presentation. So <coughs> really, yeah, it's free. Well, which are the available intraoperative OCTs? We have OCTs fully integrated with the microscope, like the West Hampton size and the optimum IOCT from high stripe. We have portable or microscope mounted OCT systems like IU from Tokyo, NVSU, the optician, Visante Thais, and Hyder Rail Spectrans. And now we also have the OCTs inside the femtosecond lasers. So we have <coughs> OCTs like Victus, for example or not like OCTs like C8. But sometimes to get the OCT to the surgical theater is not so easy. So at the beginning, Sometimes when you get the, your OCT, it's not so easy, even if you only want to see how is the wound incision in your cornea. And sometimes it's easier, as uh, you can see here, when we are doing the tunnel for an uh, intracornear ring with, uh, uh, with a potion on system, we can see where will we put the tunnel, and we can see if we are too down or too up and modify it. Sometimes we need an OCT. I will show you a special case. You can see here. That we will, we want to do a, a pocket in the cornea, but we have a special cornea to do this pocket. You will see here you have the uh, real image, and here you have the OCT. And the real image Okay, this is the real image. You can see how is the cornea. You can see how we have a white cornea in a blind eye. What we want to do is a pocket with a laser. And we want to do a pocket to inject ink after this to obtain a good uh, aesthetic result. So we need to use the uh, OCT in this case, because if not, we can't see what are we doing. And what we will do is just pocket. Let's go quickly because if not, I want 
मतलब समकालीन We can't see anything in the real image, and we can't see everything with the whole city. The result, the result would be this one. Here you have a blind eye, and now we have a black pupil inside. That's the black pupil we have, and that's the result in the sleep lab. But the patient is really happy because she takes everything. We can also use it in the cornea rings. You talk about using the cornea rings not for catacombs but for, for some refractive procedures. Here we have minus seven diopters of astigmatism and a good result with a good visual acuity after the intracornea rings. Uh, and as you can see here, we go further. When we have the OCT, intrasurgical OCT, we can. We can see where are we doing the tunnel, and we can move it down or up if we want. This is the side system. The side system, you have the system integration in the screen and also inside the opera. So it's a little bit uh, difficult to use it at the beginning, but you can have it inside or outside and eliminate this image from your uh, intraocular. Uh, for, for your microscope. So it's very useful to know if uh, the lamella is okay or not, and it's also useful for retina. You can also use some uh, devices <coughs> uh, in order to intraoperatively, previous to the surgery, see how it, how it is and obtain uh, <coughs> some slides. And to be sure after all your surgery, if everything is done or not. If you eliminate all the number. What for me? Okay, we'll go with you. So the OCT microscope, the numeral scan, Pros allows for real time OCT without looking at uh, the surgery. And uh, we can do anterior and posterior surgery. Uh, is, the limit is the foot pedal, which is very hard to use at the beginning. This uh, optimal solution is an OCT camera integrated the IPS operating microscope, and it's a current system very useful. Uh, this one is one of the first pioneering technology. I have no experience with this one. But uh, uh, it seems to be very useful. Uh, <coughs> high level intraoperative, you know that you have a four, 40,000 eye scans per second, so you have a very good image with And IU characteristics is that it's compact. You can obtain images of 26,000 scans per second, and you have an anterior segment model, and it's very uh, useful to go from the sleep lamp to the surgical area. There you have it. <coughs> Conclusion, the utility of intraoperative OCT has been demonstrated in several studies. The cost effectiveness can probably still be discussed, but not that it brings the opportunity to of improving the quality of surgical procedures and final results. There are different platforms, and most of the time you have the platform with your femtosecond laser for anterior surgery. Uh, and so it's, it's very useful. So, outside of a dog, a book is a man's best found perhaps outside of a dog, and OCT is man's best friends. And if you want to see life surgery, just come in the funeral, but to Valencia to the nurse. Thank you very much for your attention.